Hey gang, I am with somebody you will probably recognize, Herman. Hey, Herman. Everyone. Herman has a channel called Infamous Crime Locations, and we are gonna do this story together. Uh, we're gonna be doing the story of Stephen Small, the kidnapping and murder. And again, we're here, I'm inspired by Herman because he's he goes to the crime locations, that's his thing. And we are at the crime location, not an easy place to find. So we are actually gonna, we're gonna go in there. We've located by GPS, we have the sun out today so we can kind of get our, our bearings as we get. It's gonna be pretty thick in there. But what we're trying to do is get to a clearing which is back in there and then orient to the southwest and just hopefully find in the woods this uh we saw it on on google earth there's like a sand mound it's mostly woods that's so bald at the top but that is where this young man uh stephen small was buried in a box and it was a kidnapping and we're going to talk about it so let's harman let's go in there yes and let's let's uh, see what we can see let's do it I'm sure the location, we know about where it is. I mean, there's not going to be a hole in the ground or anything. And this happened a long time ago. But, uh, yeah, let's just uh, walk around and just explore. Yeah, I mean, it's it's already getting kind of a bizarre vibe walking through a forest here. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is, what do we got here? Okay, so it looks like... There used to be a road here. Yeah, let's keep going straight. So we want to go north, um, west. So oh, we are heading, ooh, yeah, watch spikes. out for the stickers. Yeah. Thank you, got it. So we are, okay, yeah, this is opening up. Did you get cut? Uh, I just got a little poke, but. All right. Par, par for the course. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you got Harmon in yeah, front. <laughs> I, I take out any uh, spiders and uh, spikes. <laughs> Oh yeah, look, look. So this, Harmon, this has got to be that opening we saw. This is that. On Google Earth. Yeah. So the story, I just give a little um, background. So Stephen Small, so he was the son of this wealthy publishing family. Now Kankakee, where he grew up, is just to the north. It's a pretty big city. And he was born in uh, 1947. And his parents, Burrell and Riva, they actually owned this conglomerate called Mid-America Media, but they also owned controlling interest in this United Press International. So they were like loaded. And of course, his uh, great-grandfather, it all started in the 1920s. He was a governor. I think his name was Len Small. Now, Stephen had three sons. He was married. And this is a really sad story because he got kidnapped. Oh, there's a there's a sticker for you. Yeah, that's a Thanks, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Carmen's watching out for me. Now look at this. Look at we're in this. Okay, so we're in this clearing that we saw on Google Earth. So okay, phase one is good. Thanks, buddy. Oh, there's a lot of stickers. Okay, let's look over here. Yeah. Oh wow. It's a giant opening. Yeah. It's beautiful. Picked a good day for it too. Um, so where we want to go is that way. So let's see, what would you, Harmon, what would you say, which direction would be to the Southwest? Kind um, of, kind it, of that way. It kind of seems like it's kind of in that direction. Yeah. So okay. Lead us. Kind of cut through there. Let's see if we can find like a trail or some opening. Oh man, that looks thick, but yeah, we've got to get that way. All right, here we go, guys. Look at that tree. That is spooky. <laughs> oh, there looks to be an animal trail here. Check this out. Oh. Do you see that? Why don't you, uh, oh, through here. you want to yeah. follow us in there or lead us in there? Yeah. So yeah, what happened was, well, let's get in the woods here. Oh, I see some artifacts. Oh, yeah, there's some stuff Looks like there. somebody's been doing some shooting back here. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. Holy cow, this is thick, man. Yeah, it's All right, I got it. It's like a garbage can, yeah. Yeah, look at that. There's a garbage can over there. It looks like it's got some holes in it. Is that a 
Is that made out of wood over here? I don't know. It looks like a coffin. I know, that's, oh my, that's right. That's what I Let's thought. go check it out. Oh, it looks like a... It might be part of a tree, but it... Oh my gosh, that looked like a coffin. But it looked like a coffin. <laughs> From far away, it does look like a coffin. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's head... Kind of back. Right yeah, here. I think that's a good line. So it was 1230 in the morning on September 2nd, 87. So somebody calls up the small house and they're like, Kinka Key, police, you got to come. You gotta come to this house you're working on, you're renovating, because there's been a break-in and a burglary. And Stephen Small's like, holy cow, gets dressed. Now, Stephen Small liked to work on these antique houses. And the house he was working on, we're talking about, is a Frank Lloyd Wright house. You guys know I'm an architect. Thanks, good job, thanks. And I guess he went over there. There's another weird thing over to the right like another looks like a coffin <laughs> i'm sure it's another log and they lured him over there hold on and the next thing you know his wife gets a phone call from the kidnappers turned out the kidnappers was a, a man and a woman we'll talk about and uh, we're going to get blocked by this thing. There's a trail this way. Yeah. yeah, let's follow it that way. You know what? I see like a mound. Do you see that straight ahead to the left? Oh, yeah. Do you see that hill going up? Yes. Yeah. So it's, That's got to be it. It's kind of like around the corner here. Let's yeah. head that way. So, you know, they start getting the phone calls like, hey, your husband, we want a million dollars. And he literally says they have him talking. And they say, they've got me in a box, and they're going to bury me. Yeah, that's an, there's some giant logs in here. So they actually ended up bringing him here to where, oh, see, the, yeah, they said there's, hey, see the sand? This is all sand base. There's a, there's a blue barrel over here, man. That's weird. Oh, yeah, look at that. Let's go, Let's go check that out. You want out. to check it out? All right. It's all sand here. Look at this. Like, you would expect that to be at a beach, not a... Yeah. Forest. What's this barrel doing in here? It's, it's kind of weird. Dude, this is really weird. <laughs> what is a barrel doing in here? This is creepy, man. Because whenever you see blue barrel, like, in the news, you think, I mean, what, body maybe? I mean, I don't know. Yeah, for sure. Oh, Harmon, Harmon. Yeah. Did you see my... Did you see my episode on a guy named Drew Peterson? Yes, Drew Peterson. Stacy, Stacy Peterson was her name. She was in a blue barrel. No way. You don't think? That would be crazy. There's no way, but what? man, I would actually not touch this thing. Oh man, it kind of smells. Ooh. There is something going on here, guys. All right, I do not even, um, yeah, I'll, is it empty? Can you do like push on it? I wouldn't just um, push on the edge. There's, you know, there's it's a lot of stuff. I don't want to, me I'm not mess, let's not mess with this thing. Yeah. Actually, what we might do is yeah. uh, follow up and just, yeah. I don't know if we should report this or not, but anyway, let's, let's, we'll figure let's, that out. let's yeah. figure it out. Let's, I don't want to mess with that. Yeah. Okay. So, so kind of keep going guys, up. yeah, let's go keep, let's go keep, keep going that way. So anyway, the police had tapped the phones and they traced the calls coming from this, actually right by where we're at, there's this little suburb of Kankakee right around here called Aroma Park. And I think it was the Sunoco station was, uh, there's a couple of gas stations and they were, they were observing these people making these phone calls. So yeah, this hill goes up. Do you want to go up there and check it out? Yeah, it's a pretty, there's um. There's also a trail that way. Let's go that way. It looks doesn't look as thick. Okay. And they they like were observing these people making the I said the second or third payphone call and said, hey, that's uh, the FBI was already involved. And they're like, hey, that's a a, a man and a blonde-haired woman. 
And it turned out to be a guy named Danny Edwards and a woman named Nancy Rish, R-I-S-H. And... Were they actually dating? Or like, were they considered yes. like, a, like a relationship? Yes. They were dating and they moved in on them. And I think what they did was they observed them, finally, Nancy driving the car, which is the car pretty much sure they had Stephen Small in the trunk anyway. They went to the house. Yeah, let's go up this way. Okay. This is good. Okay. Ooh, so yeah. now, by the way, oh yeah, look at this. This is remarkable. It's just sand, it's solid sand. I wonder if this was an excavation Maybe. many years ago, but look at all these trees. This has been here a while, but now again, we've got the base. So right in here, we're gonna come back. Let's just check out the top okay. real quick. I'll, I'll tell more of the story and we're gonna, let's come back down here because this is where he was buried. Okay. And we'll, we'll take, we'll come back down and take a closer look. But what happened was they observed them at, I think it was, one of their houses and they finally moved in and they're like they they moved in with a search warrant and the search warrant basically showed evidence they arrested them and the next thing you know this danny edwards they both yeah we did it it's us and it's like get us to steven small so what does he do the guy brings them out here yeah, this, uh, this looks like a dead end. What do you think? Doesn't look like yeah. there's much up here. I mean, it's just a bunch of vegetation. Okay. And stuff, but. Well, let's go back. Why don't you lead us? Let's go to the base where this happened. So, this Danny Edwards comes out here with the police. Right here where we're at. And he brings them to the base of this hill. And by the way, this was really hard to find. And I can't divulge who gave me this. Especially back then when, I mean, they didn't have Google Maps. They didn't have no. any of that kind of stuff. Anyway, we, they came out here, right here where we're at, just in front of Herman at the bottom. And they dug up a three foot by six foot plywood box coffin. And that coffin, that box had a PVC pipe that ran, oh, 20 feet or so. That was for oxygen. Like they were trying to keep him alive in this box. And they had a, um, a car, Harmon, they had a car battery hooked up to a light for him. They had a jug of water. They had candy bars and gum or something. What? They gave him a flashlight in addition to the battery operated light. But... So they actually this, thought that that would keep him keep alive. Him, yeah, and Danny Edwards is probably and what a what a scummy looking guy. If you see his mugshot, so right here, I'm going to tell you it's probably right here. With we're probably standing right in the area where here. good guess would be right here is where he was buried. And when they came, he was dead. And the coroner said. You know, you can't get an air exchange with a little tiny PVC pipe going. <laughs> I don't know how, if it was an inch diameter or what. <laughs> even if it was two inches diameter, you're That's right. That's not enough to get you enough air. Right, Especially yeah. if you're that down in the dirt. Yeah. <laughs> so that's kind of the story. Now, they went to prison, right, Harmon? They... Yeah. They went, uh, so bo both of them got life in prison. Right. But from what I read, it sounds like... Um, the lady, uh, Nancy Rich. Nancy Rich, she only spent like 35, 37 years in prison. Yeah. So here's the deal, guys. Get the so so Edwards goes. Edwards is like he's put away and he's still in jail. He'll never get out. Well, I shouldn't say that, right? Because <laughs> life in Be, prison, who knows, right? <laughs> well, what were we talking about? Uh, life without parole doesn't mean doesn't actually mean that. life without parole because nancy rich as harman said got out in 37 years and and she is um oh um you know i read oh i i didn't know i was i just didn't know i was dating this guy he was such a bad guy i didn't know That's... i didn't know what was happening yet it was her car her house right. i think she was on one of the telephone calls maybe i'm wrong woman's I know, voice I, think you're right, I mean though. yeah right? yeah yeah totally part of yeah. it but of course either you know either they found Jesus in prison or oh I didn't know and I'm such a nice person 
she tricked the, her, not her, her attorneys, you know, they're really good. She's out of prison. And guess what? She's on Facebook and she's having a great time smiling away, doing who knows what. She's um, having a great old time on she's Facebook. Having a, and what about Stephen Small here? He's, he's got no life and she's, she's not old. You know, she's, I, I don't know how old she's, maybe she's 50. And she's got the rest of her life to enjoy. And yeah, yeah. she's sorry, but you know what? Th this is what makes me ill about the justice system, right? It's frustrating. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. Yeah. So you can think, uh, we have a governor here. He's long gone. Governor Ryan. And I've talked about this in previous episodes. That he got, you know, like all of our governors got busted and sent to jail for bribery and, okay. and <laughs> all, all the all that usual stuff like Blagojevich and you can go down the line. And he just before he was either getting indicted or went to prison, I can't remember. He said, I pardon all of the men in Illinois or all the prisoners on death row. You're all commuted to life in prison. So Brian Dugan and I mean, I can give you a list. They're all like in prison now. They should be dead, like the the jack o' lantern guy. You, if you saw my video, but thanks to uh, Governor Ryan, he you know, is trying to make a noble, a noble act. You know, I call it lipstick on a pig. He is right. So anyway, <laughs> that's, that's so true. I don't know about you, man, but I'm getting a really bad feeling in here. I do not. It's I mean, it's just uh, it's bad it's a, vibes. The whole story is creepy in itself, and then you come into this spot in the woods in the middle of nowhere. It just makes it double, doubly, yeah, just weird vibes. So, yeah, I think um, probably shouldn't stay out here too long. Yeah, I think let's boogie out of here. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to be out of here. And yeah. um, the blue barrel, I, don't, I don't know, I don't know about the blue barrel. It's probably not her, but yeah. I don't know. We're we're gonna boogie out of here. Um, I've got a. Harmon's got to get to his next city. I'm going to hit the cemetery for you real quick, and we'll pay respects to Stephen Small. So we'll uh, we'll call it here, man. Yeah. Sounds Safe good. driving. Thank and you, sir. See y'all later. Yep. I'll see you at the cemetery. I'm at Mound Grove Cemetery in Kankakee. So we're just going to visit Small's crypt, as it is. Just us. But thanks, Herman, to go to the uh, location of where he lost his life. And, oh, everything's right here. So we are in the chapel, and the chapel, which is very small, has all the crypts here within. And it looks like there's also some niches for cremains. Interesting. I don't see any light switches. Now let's see where, where he is. I don't see a small on that wall. Oh, look at back here. Let's take a look at this. These, there's some interesting niches back here. Isn't that beautiful? Almost like those pictures. Look at that. Valeria Lynch. Oh, look at the wedding rings. Interesting. Dog tags. Dog tech's got to be World War II, huh? Yeah, 1928, Matthew Lynch. Okay, let's see if we can find... Let's see if we can find small. It's got to be on this wall here somewhere. Ah, I see it right over here. Now, interesting, I see 
Burrell L and Riva G, which I believe would be his parents, just judging by those dates. And then I see Bruce died in 98. I wonder if he's in here unmarked because I don't see small anywhere. Let me just double check here. If we look, no, oh wait, wait, wait. I missed it, he's up here. He's up here by himself. Okay, yeah, he's here. So these are double crypts and he's by himself. Yeah, 1947 to 1987. Okay, well, quite a sad story. Hope you are resting in peace in a small family. Rest in peace.